Although, they're 12 minutes in. Welcome back, everyone. We have matches. We are Okay, so we've done one of the semifinals. We have to go back a little bit to do another quarterfinals match since the way the tournament went timing-wise is a little bit awkward. So we're actually jumping back into a quarterfinals match onto Quicksilver being played by Darkstron and Anarchid. Oh, wait, where's... It's game two now. Okay, it's game two. Who won game one? Um... Anakid, by the look of it, by the chat. Okay. And we're on Aurelian. I've not seen this map. Is this one of... Oh, I can't get in. Is this one of the new maps made by... What's her name? Yeah, Akronim made it quite recently. Oh, okay. I was about to say Moose, but... Akronim. Cool. In his, um, his theory that there's no good C maps. At least there's very few. So he's well, trying to make a slightly bigger map. Cool. Than I'd love to see a Gizzy map. That other map. Shimmer Shore. Yep. Which this is a, is a map. C map. It, it's a C yes. map. That's, I can say that. I don't necessarily think it's a great C map, but it is a C map. So I saw Kingstad knew how to play C. They and I picked like... this and lost to him. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing really well. They, they were thinking, oh, I've only been playing FFAs recently. I don't really know how to play anymore. I'm thinking, no, you you know what you're doing. I've played you recently. You still know what you're doing. You're you're not that rusty. This is not what I call a normal C map opening. Well, we have, oh, well, C coming in. Corsair for Anarchid. I wonder if they're going to Corsair. Corsair Cutter. On the other hand, Double Hunter coming in from Darkster on with Corsairs. I think... So, one thing I noticed, I think with, C, with Shimmer Shore being in the main map pool, people have kind of had a better understanding of how C works. And one of the biggest lessons to learn is that if you're going to mass anything, mass Corsairs. Like Yeah, they're just amazing riot raider things. And the fact that people know that means that I'm expecting we're going to see a lot more in the way of massed Corsair, which means we're probably going to see a lot more... But I lost against um, Kingstad doing that. What were I just completely for forgot summaries? that Minst Minstrel was a real thing. Oh, yeah. Minstrels definitely win that. I think that's one of the I things that we haven't seen much Seawolf is pretty good against the Corsair. It is. I would go for that. Like, I was playing a game with someone recently, and basically they, they tried going Mass Seawolf, and I just went, no. Because Mass Seawolf is easily taken care of. But if they're going for Mass Corsair, Mass Seawolf works well. You don't Mass them. You pick off their raiding Corsairs with them. Or even yes, just put when you're doing it well, I think it was add slow damage. The person I was playing against didn't do that, and I won. <laughs> so I'm not seeing enough greed from these two, but I have only played this map once, so I'm not surprised though. We shall see. C maps? Okay, this map looks pretty good for C actually. Like, it looks like there's a lot of places you can expand to, so it seems pretty reasonable. But I think because C has been Shimmer Shore, and Shimmer Shore is not a map you can really expand on. I wouldn't be surprised if the current thinking about C is you can't easily expand because you're going to get everything wrecked by Corsairs or Seawolves. But it looks like the players have uh, realized, wait a sec, they can do stuff. Or at least Anarchid has. Darkster on. They're focusing a lot more on Reclaim. They're focusing a lot less on well, expansion. Well, Anarchid's seen all those Corsairs and is making Seawolves. Yeah, Anarchid's on this. And He's a big fan of the... Of, um, of nope. Urchin Spires. Urchin Spies? Spies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. immune to to uh, torpedoes. Which, I I mean, I think general seems like just hit B. Like, building any defenses, just hit B first, then shift, and then go. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not, um, it's a bit more expensive than normal, but hey, it's, it just works. This might be working. Darkstrom has... No, wait. Darkstaron has a thousand cost army on the naked side of the map. And I think this is why we don't see a whole lot of greed, is because of just how quickly you can build up some strong forces that 
can wipe out an expansion. The Mariner is done. The Factory might very well be done, actually. The Seawolves were in place, as are the Urchins, but I don't think that's enough. Corsairs will be able to get rid of the Urchins, because, of course, yeah, Torpedoes can't get them, but the Shotguns sure can. The Factory itself is running into problems as a result. The Seawolf getting threatened by the Hunters. There is nothing Anarchid has to actually stop this. Darkstron should be able to take this, and I forgot to actually put Anarchid's win up, because Anarchid had a win from before. I can see why Darkstron picked this map, though. Because, yeah, they've got this. So, yeah, not sure what to think about that, but I can totally see why people weren't being that greedy. You mentioned before, Google Frog. I don't know. I'll have to see it more to believe it. But it was a good counter what, to what Anarchid was doing. Yeah, the timing was the timing was totally on point. Stop the Mariner. Yeah. There wasn't anything being built. Anarchid had just started focusing on their economy. So, yeah, Darkstron doesn't really have a whole lot they need to do other than just hold on, not die, and then win. I'm a little curious, though, what Darkstron is thinking, because, I mean, they've they've seen they've wiped out most of Anarchid's base, but at the same time, they're not going for an expansion themselves, so they're clearly kind of... I'm not sure they're thinking about expansion, or just a little unsure about whether or not they can get away with it. Well, they're still in the... Well, they're making a marina now, but they're still in the rush down mode. They lost their Corsairs, somehow. They were pretty low, maybe to death explosions. Probably to death explosions. These hunters don't beat an urchin which is on a spire nope but they can they barely get beat urchin the, at the best of times yeah but if they can get the metal extractors just sneakily then that's good enough not sneaky enough no not sneaky enough but, but it's probably still useful if it slows down anarchy to buy starks on the time needed to get their corsairs up and get their mariners yeah. up and start expanding that's all that it's really needs to happen. a good use of them yeah, I mean, at this point, Anarchid's got four metal per second. Like, they've got nothing but their commander trying to build a factory 15 seconds away from building the factory. Darkstaron's got two minutes to build up anything they want. And they have mariners all over the place. The only thing they have to worry about is one cutter. If they can get rid of that one cutter, Darkstaron can just expand. And currently, they have three times metal. Which is not something I'd expect to say when someone has ten metal per second, but yeah. Well, the factory's almost up. Yep. Also... Sulu in the chat. Sulu in the chat pointing out, asking about the snow. This map has light snow. Actually, it's got kind of heavy snow if you go in the south for some reason. I don't know if it's a if it's a matter of where you are on the map that the snow happens. The snow is more concentrated in the south side. But yeah, this is pretty. Sorry. Go on, Google Frog. I'd be surprised. Yeah, the Marine isn't coming in. Sorry, the Corsair's coming in. Yes, and at the same time, the Mariners are expanding. So Darks are unable to just get their expansion going, get their greed going. Ooh, unfortunately, the Mariner over the south side of the map is not expanding when it could be. But, I mean, Anarchid just can't build anything. Getting the Claymore is going to take minutes to get a single Claymore, just for how long it'll take to actually build up anything. Like, Darkstron just He's got some reclaim, go doesn't he? He can reclaim only 100. They, yeah, they haven't got much. Now, the main problem for Anarchid right now is just the lack of money. The main problem for Darkstron right now is the fact that trying to get in onto the Urchins is not easy, even with two Corsairs. So Anarchid has a little bit of time, but I sooner or later Darkstron... I reckon two beat two Well, I don't know if Darkstron knows that, but they're going for it. One of them is a bit damaged. Yeah, I'm just thinking a lot of it comes down more to, to the fact that players may not know how well this works. So I think Darkstron's fairly experienced with C. Corsairs cost twice as much as an urchin. Right. So they should be able to just beat it outright and still and be there. And they're about Venom speed. You'd expect that to beat an urchin. You would. And I do expect it to. I just don't know if they're thinking about I don't know if Darkstron's thinking about that. So he's four Corsairs. That's, that's, that's got to just roll over everything. Yeah. And they're they're confident enough to the looks doing. of it. Like I said, I think a lot of this match has been just coming down to confidence. Like, players not... like. Clearly, we've seen a lot of early games earlier today where players clearly have the intuition needed to just win on on knowing when to go in, when the timing works. And well, it's the pretty thing clear is, that it's this match, not so much. Yeah, it's also it's a tournament. tournament but... So expand, you know, play it a bit safe. Don't try and just finish it off. Yeah, no, of course, that makes sense. I'm just thinking that the overall approach that's been there... Oh, that is clever. Hold that Clarissa near the Anarchy. The Claymore can't do anything. But with... 
the thing is, yeah, tournaments, that is a thing. But I'm thinking also the other maps have been fairly quick. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's harder to know exactly what's going to happen in a C map. Just because of lack of experience. Yeah, possibly. But that is game. Anakin throws in the towel, blows up the commander, and Darkstrawn pushes it on to game three. I want to see more of this map, though. This map's pretty, and I think it has potential. I think as people get to know it better, there's a decent amount of room for stuff to happen beyond just pure water Alien stuff. Desert. Ah, Shaman okay, left. Cool. Shaman left one non-janky map in the um, the quick draw the quick pool. tiebreaker pool. So that's what people are going for. And so they should. I mean, it's a good <laughs> map. It's like yeah. Or actually, let me double check that. I think there was another map that I thought was okay. They could have been playing nope. Avalanche. Maybe. But, no, no, I, I totally agree. Actually, Isle of Grief. Why do I think Isle of Grief is okay? I feel like Isle of Grief is... Oh, yeah, Isle of Grief is okay. It's actually quite large, too. Yeah, I think... It's got some weird terrain. It does. But, but... it's not jank. So what happened to tank meta? Well, the people just... Oh, I guess, actually, tanks are not so great here. Because it's very easy to defend your first four mexes and then... There's a big gap before we get anything else. Although we have right. Cloaky. Cloaky and Aroda. Yeah, well... We're starting Cloaky versus Rover, which... I'm curious about, because Cloaky... I mean, they're fast, yeah, that's a fairly common thing because of the speed. Rover, on the other hand, is Rover, and that's what you always play, because every one of the units is fast. As opposed to just Glaives. Or Scythes, because apparently Darkstrawn just wants to go for some Scythe Gs. Scythe Gs. Not sure how well that works. Although, I think they might just be going for Scythe Scouting, not realizing Gremlin is the way to go with that. Geez. Scythe I'm, into what? I don't know. I've I've only fought, fought against this a couple times, and it's usually like Scythe, Scythe into more Scythe. And it's just you don't expect Scythe, so you have to deal with a bunch of Scythes. You better do something soon, because with a closed factory... An Archid should just do full anti keys, right? Yeah. Like, look at this. You scout this and you go, okay, there's a Cloakbox factory doing nothing. And a small amount of, exp of, you know, building up. Well, it looks like Anarchy is trying to scout around and figure out what's going on, but the Scythe has already left. I don't see the Dark I'm not sure patrolling. if Anarchy has changed, his, changed what he's doing. He has built another Lotus. That's a good idea. I mean, Lotuses are remarkably weak against Scythes, but that's plural Scythes. One Scythe, no. Multiple Scythes, yes. So, this thing is, this Scythe gets chased down by some vehicles and then dies. You read the second Scythe? Maybe. The first one. Oh, there it is. But now it's got to run away. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember the fact that commanders have lasers now. Apparently the laser isn't that much more damage than usual. Yeah, but it's it hard to dodge. Yes. What, then the pea shooter? I guess, yep. technically. That's that could be a big impact. Ooh, well, there goes another one. Some metal extractor. Can he climb the little hill on the right? He probably right can, on. actually. Yes, but they're not going to. Well, the thing is that... Um, the vehicles could even just guess the scythe was there and force fire the ground. That's true. However, this so, one, Darkstrawn, not, not that far this... behind. Hmm? Sorry. I'm not a fan of this scythe thing. No, more scythes coming in. Reaver is the follow-up. I... I don't know. I mean, Reaver... I don't consider it to be a great option against vehicles, but... I don't um, like... They need... As with many rights, they need to not be surrounded. So you need a few of them in an army to sort of stand back to back to each other. Right. That's that just miss? Yeah, just missed. They're oh. not perfect um, ninjas. <laughs> Sometimes they just slice at air. Yeah, darts are teeny. That's true. Darts are teeny. I'll give you that. Got that or one. Else? Well, anyway, so, so far, in... Sorry, so far, what's the scythe killed? 
Scythe has killed like a Lotus and a Dart and not much else. A Scythe over here killed a couple Darts and hit a Scorcher a couple times. I mean, there's not much. I mean, I guess the Reavers have a bit less to come in on. Now, because... now they're pushing across the map with yeah. Reaver and Ronin. Yep, well, that's not a bad option to go with. But again, this Scythe over in the base is gone. The Reaver's doing an okay job. I don't think the Ronin's going to have an it's easier time. It's sort of too low density to start yeah. thinking about a slow, dense army. No, you'd need like a dozen Ronin and six or seven Reavers. Otherwise, you're just not going to hit anything. They could be ten glaives, these. Four units could be ten glaives. I don't know if I'd go with... I mean, that kind of makes sense. Like, if you go... Or eight glaives and an imp. Ten glaives probably kills top the top expansion although of course mm, an archid scouted that this, there's a big slow army so he's not defending the top because yeah from glaives I mean, right there glaives can't exist he's going right into dominatrix wow just getting rid of those reavers right away interesting choice i'm a little no, surprised it seems good as in i mean you have the it's, economy yeah it's a good choice it's just, i don't expect that this counter. early yeah, I wouldn't expect that this early, but considering the fact that there's Reavers coming in, it's a good idea. It makes sense. Like, the Dominatrix just takes a lone Reaver. It's fine. Yeah, at the same time, it's like it's not like the units are really in position to help deal with the Scorchers here. Fortunately, it looks like a lot of Dark Surround's forces are just being moved, like not being moved together. See, now so, he's pushed across the yeah, map, damage. where he's got a small, sort of slow force, which, has, which makes a solid base. Now he needs to pump glaives across the map so that his slow slow army gets the fast army as reinforcements when they both arrive. And well, sort that, of do a timing like that. That might happen. I mean, glaives are being produced on infinite builds, so it looks like Dark yep, Shrine has are. that in mind. He's doing this. Although he needs to actually send them all the way across and help out. Because hmm. three Ronin and two Reavers does do something. Having them wander around your opponent's side of the map is pretty good. But they don't do everything by themselves. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking the Reavers might be might be okay now. It's just the Dominatrix is right here. The Reavers are going to be taken by it if anything comes up there. The Ronin won't really be able to stop that. And at the same time, Darkstrong can't really expand. They don't have enough forces to push around and expand. The best they can do is start to take out Anarchid's expansion, but Anarchid is so far ahead right now, I'm not sure how much that's going to matter. But Dark Oh, well, yeah, Anakin's it. highly ahead on production. Not ahead on attrition, though. Yeah, although, I don't know, 20 metal per second on the factory isn't that much. So Dark Staron could easily catch up to that, in theory. Actually, Anakin, they're, yeah, they're not really taking advantage of their economy advantage. So Dark Staron lacks scouting. What does Darkstron have for Raider? No, you're right. Yeah, they could have a Raider on this hill over in the southwest. And they don't. They might so. lose their base. I don't know. These 12 Glaives, now they will, they will defend against this. But they have to not move out of position. No, I see with scouting, and that will be the time to kill that Dominatrix. You know, send the five Glaives in. And that's exactly what's Ooh. happening. He's found it. Just in radar yep. range. So I'm wondering, like, are they... I, I'm looking... I don't see their name in the user list. They're not stream sniping. Looks like the players in general haven't been stream sniping, which is good. But... Darkstrom's actually evened up the economy somewhat. Moving his command to north, taking the north expansion from Anarchid. Yeah. Needs I mean, to like do I a sweep of the right, though, yeah, for that like expansion. Like I said, Anarchid wasn't really taking advantage of the economy they had, so Darkstrom was able to build up more forces in the meantime and raid out the north side. And all this massive naked expansion Anarchid had done. So Anarchid's still ahead. I think but Darkstron wasn't. Anarchid too believes too strongly in Dart. I can see why, though. I mean, the, slowing down the Glaives isn't a bad idea, but given the density of the armies, I don't think it's worth it anymore. But the attrition, the attrition, look at the valued killed or value lost graph. Right, that's. That is bad. Like, Anarchid was doing well, it's too, like and then Darkstron is saying, no, this is how I do it. This Kill is how some I win. glaives. Ah, oh, look at that. Darkstrong's doing the good sweep to the right. 
might even get that Lotus and those two constructors. That'd be quite big. And we'll get in time. Perfect to, timing to too. Phoenix. Yeah, but I, I, Anarchy, I like their Phoenix switch, but at the same time, the Glaives are so spread out because of this sweep that the Phoenix isn't going to yeah, do much for Dark now. Yeah, Darkstrom saw it and responded. But even then, like the there Glaives goes. were already spread out beforehand, so Darkstrom didn't need to see it and respond to it, which they did, and that was good. Ah, true. They also were prepared in advance. Like, the way Darkstrom had their positioning before even seeing the Phoenix was perfect. Darkstrom has 18 Glaives at base. They only need to learn to rally to the front. Those 18 Glaives can probably kill the Commander. If it was in yeah. their position. So well, we've got Dominatrix, ah! Ripper. Ooh, that's not nice. I mean, it's not much. It's not much damage, but still, that's less than ideal. The Reavers will be okay. They'll regen back up. Yeah. What are those glaives doing? Why are they scattered? Maybe they weird. thought the um, the Phoenix was coming in to I hit them. Maybe. I mean, they aren't wrong. Right. Make a circle when Phoenix comes in. Phoenix does almost nothing. Yeah, like right there. Ooh, that's a few glaives. Yeah, but some are on Still fire. Some will repair yeah. and make it. Oh, okay. of, oh, there's the Rippers. I was going to say, I kind of want to see some of the glaives go forward and get hit by the Dominatrix to let the Reaper do its job, but then the Rippers come in. Yep, yeah, so Ripper Dominatrix now seems good. I guess Although, the glaive. a Thunderbird from Darkstrom will be very effective, and that's what they're possibly building. Yeah, they don't have anything queued up in the air factory yet. But it looks like the Glaives are not being used to directly attack. Just go to the side, flank, get rid of a few metal extractors, yeah. break some lotuses. Oh, one of the Reavers got lost and actually self-destructing. <laughs> yeah. Nice! Good job, Darkstrom. I did not expect that. Like, just um, quick, um, quick self-D. Couldn't let it live. Too dangerous. No, I mean, that's good. It's just that the, that's not something I've seen anyone really do when fighting Dominatrix, is see that, oh, the unit's about to be taken. Kill it. Oh, no. An Arcid self-destructed the Reaver. Oh, I thought it was that Darkstone self-destructed before it got captured. My no. bad. Ah, oh, that would have been amazing. So we have... Oh, we have not good units from the aircraft factory, I think. Yeah, Raptor Raven. Raptor, I guess they're thinking which, get rid of the Phoenix. It, which it will, but it's not exactly what is needed. No. I feel like... How many glaives is this? 17 glaives. Doesn't do anything against these rippers and dominatrix. Mostly the rippers. No, the three rippers are They really are need to get a thunderbird. Or just some base defenses. But I think it's a bit late. Yeah, because dominatrix take out two of them. The rippers basically wipe out in droves. The only upside maybe is the rippers might get friendly fire. And they do friendly fire the dummies and darts. But Anarchid walk in there right now. Like, Anarchid's done. Anarchid can just waltz in here, wipe out the caretakers, get rid of the factory. That's game. No, nah, he's retreating. You know, I mean, let's try again later. Not unwise, let's but... Let's do over. Maybe he wanted to get Scorchers with him? I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't know, because they got three Scorchers, and five Rippers are more than enough to wipe out this base. The only thing I can think of is uh -huh. the Ravens, but the Ravens there can get rid of the... Bird. And quite a few Phoenix is coming in. And Anarchid's side, The Raptors yeah. will kill some things, but not enough things. Oh, okay, that's what they were waiting for. Anarchid is waiting for waiting the perfect for the kill opportunity. Oh, uh, it got away. Huh. Well, Thunderbird's back, but at the same time... Yeah, Anarchid's... No, that, that's it. Darkstrom throws in the towel. Really nice play, though. I like I liked the way they were setting up early on with the Koki bot force. It's just, unfortunately didn't manage to yeah. actually deal much enough damage, and the southeast attack with the Glaives didn't amount to anything. They had to switch to Thunderbird slightly earlier. When you're massing Glaives, it's quite good. Yeah, I think if we had seen that, we would have seen all those Rippers Although go down, the and the Glaives could have walked in. Chart, and I could, did get the out expansion. They did, but at the same time, Darkstrawn did a really good job of being reasonably efficient. Up until the very end of the match, Darkstrawn was more efficient by about a thousand or so metal throughout the match. Yeah. So that was really good. Attrition like even, against expansion. Yeah. So, again, even with the metal use, 4,000 metal difference between metal use, Darkstrong was still doing fine. Ah, uh, so now we have Anarchid and Drone. Yeah, another semifinals coming in. Which is going to be a bit awkward, because now I've set up the video to... Whatever, I'll just do another intro and then keep going. <laughs>